seven, six, five, four, three. Hey everybody, it's friend Ferb Jr. I'm going to play a little Minecraft and listen to an audiobook. Uh, this is something I do redo every day, and I'm like super tired right now, and I'm way behind the schedule. So I am listening to the book of Judges in the Old Testament of the Bible. So I'm going to mark it down. We're starting in chapter 5. And get it cranked up. Go. Chapter 5. Deborah and Barak sing a song of praise because Israel is delivered from Canaanite bondage. Then sang Deborah and Barak the son of Abinoam on that day, saying, Praise ye the Lord for the avenging of Israel, when the people willingly offered themselves. Hear, O ye kings, give ear, O ye princes. I, even I, will sing unto the Lord. I will sing praise to the Lord God of Israel. Lord, when thou wentest out of Seir, when thou marchedst out of the field of Edom, the earth trembled, and the heavens dropped, the clouds also dropped water. The mountains melted from before the Lord, even that Sinai from before the Lord God of Israel. In the days of Shamgar the son of Anath, in the days of Jael, the highways were unoccupied, and the travelers walked through byways. The inhabitants of the villages ceased. They ceased in Israel, until that I, Deborah, arose, that I arose a mother in Israel. And they chose new gods. Then was war in the gates. Was there a shield or spear seen among forty thousand in Israel? My heart is toward the governors of Israel, that offered themselves willingly among the people. Bless ye the Lord. Speak, ye that ride on white asses, ye that sit in judgment, and walk by the way. They that are delivered from the noise of archers in the places of drawing water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. Awake, awake, Deborah, awake, awake, utter a song. Arise, Barak, and lead thy captivity captive, thou son of Abinoam. Then he made him that remaineth have dominion over the nobles among the people. The Lord made me have dominion over the mighty. Out of Ephraim... Was there a root of them against Amalek? After thee, Benjamin, among thy people. Out of Maker came down governors, and out of Zebulun they that handled the pen of the writer. And the princes of Issachar were with Deborah, even Issachar and also Barak. He was sent on foot into the valley. For the divisions of Reuben there were great thoughts of heart. Why abode it now among the sheepfolds to hear the bleatings of the flocks? For the divisions of Reuben, there were great searchings of heart. Gilead abode beyond Jordan, and why did Dan remain in ships? Asher continued on the seashore, and abode in his breaches. Zebulun and Naphtali were a people that jeoparded their lives unto the death in the high places of the field. The kings came and fought, then fought the kings of Canaan in Teanach by the waters of Megiddo. They took no gain of money. They fought from heaven. The stars in their courses fought against Sisera. The river of Kaishan swept them over. That which the river Kaishan. O oh, my soul, thou hast trodden down strength. Then were the horse hooves broken by the means of the prancings, the prancings of their mighty ones. Curse ye, Miraz, said the angel of the Lord. Curse ye bitterly the inhabitants thereof. Because they came not to the help of the Lord, to the help of the Lord against the mighty. Blessed above women shall Jael, the wife of Heber the Kenite, be. Blessed shall she be above women in the tent. He asked water, and she gave him milk. She brought forth butter in a lordly dish. She put her hand to the nail, and her right hand to the workman's hammer. And with the hammer she smote Sisera. She smote off his head, when she had pierced and stricken through his temple. At her feet he bowed, he fell, he lay down. At her feet he bowed, he fell. Where he bowed, there he fell down dead. The mother of Sisera looked out at a window, 
and cried through the lattice, Why is his chariot so long in coming? Why tarry the wheels of his chariots? Her wise ladies answered her, Yea, she returned answer to herself, Have they not sped? Have they not divided the prey? To every man a damsel too. To Sisera, a prey of divers colors, a prey of divers colors of needlework, of divers colors of needlework on both sides, meet for the necks of them that take the spoil. So let all thine enemies perish, O Lord, but let them that love him be as the sun when he goeth forth in his might, and the land had rest forty years. Chapter 6 Israel is in bondage to the Midianites. An angel appears to Gideon and calls him to deliver Israel. He overthrows the altar of Baal, the spirit of the Lord rests upon him, and the Lord gives him a sign to show he is called to deliver Israel. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord delivered them into the hand of Midian seven years, and the hand of Midian prevailed against Israel. And because of the Midianites, the children of Israel made them the dens which are in the mountains and caves, and strongholds. And so it was, when Israel had sown, that the Midianites came up, and the Amalekites, and the children of the east, even they came up against them. And they encamped against them, and destroyed the increase of the earth, till thou come unto Gaza, and left no sustenance for Israel, neither sheep, nor ox, nor ass. For they came up with their cattle, and their tents, and they came as grasshoppers for multitude. For both they and their camels were without number, and they entered into the land to destroy it. And Israel was greatly impoverished because of the Midianites, and the children of Israel cried unto the Lord. And it came to pass, when the children of Israel cried unto the Lord because of the Midianites, that the Lord sent a prophet unto the children of Israel, which said unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, I brought you up from Egypt, and brought you forth out of the house of bondage. And I delivered you out of the hand of the Egyptians, and out of the hand of all that oppressed you, and drave them out of the and gave you their land. And I said unto you, I am the Lord your God. Fear not the gods of the Amorites, in whose land ye dwell. But ye have not obeyed my voice. And there came an angel of the Lord, and sat under an oak which was in Ophrah, that pertained unto Joash, the Abbi Ezrat, and his son Gideon threshed wheat by the winepress to hide it from the Midianites. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. And Gideon said unto him, O oh my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why then is all this befallen us? And where be all these miracles which our fathers told us of, saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord hath forsaken us, and delivered us into the hands of the Midianites. And the Lord looked upon him and said, Go in this thy might, and thou shalt save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Have not I sent thee? And he said unto him, O oh my Lord, wherewith shall I save Israel? Behold, my family is poor in Manasseh, and I am the least in my father's house. And the Lord said unto him, Surely I will be with thee. And thou shalt smite the Midianites as one man. And he said unto him, If now I have found grace in thy sight, then show me a sign that thou talkest with me. Depart not hence, I pray thee, until I come unto thee, and bring forth my present, and set it before thee. And he said, I will tarry until thou come again. And Gideon went in, and made ready a kid, and unleavened cakes of an ephah flour. The flesh he put in a basket, and he put the broth in a pot, and brought it out unto him under the oak, and presented it. And the angel of God said unto him, Take the flesh and the unleavened cakes, and lay them upon this rock, and pour out the broth. And he did so. Then the angel of the Lord put forth the end of the staff that was in his hand, and touched the flesh and the unleavened cakes. And there rose up fire out of the rock, and consumed the flesh and the unleavened cakes. Then the angel of the Lord departed out of his sight. And when Gideon perceived that he was the angel of the Lord, Gideon said, Alas, O Lord God, for because I have seen an angel of the Lord face to face. And the Lord said unto him, Peace be unto thee, 
Fear not, thou shalt not die. Then Gideon built an altar there unto the Lord, and called it Jehovah Shalom. Unto this day it is yet an Ophrah of the Abayaz rites. And it came to pass the same night that the Lord said unto him, Take thy father's young bullock, even the second bullock of seven years old, and throw down the altar of Baal that thy father had, and cut down the grove that is by it. And build an altar unto the Lord thy God upon the top of this rock, in the ordered place. And take the second bullock, and offer a burnt sacrifice with the wood of the grove, which thou shalt cut down. Then Gideon took ten men of his servants, and did as the Lord had said unto him. And so it was, because he feared his father's household, and the men of the city, that he could not do it by day, but he did it by night. And when the men of the city arose early in the morning, behold, the altar of Baal was cast down, and the grove was cut down that was by it. And the second bullock was offered upon the altar that was built. And they said one to another, Who had done this thing? And when they inquired and asked, they said, Gideon, the son of Joash, hath done this thing. Then the men of the city said unto Joash, Bring out thy son, that he may die, because he hath cast down the altar of Baal, and because he hath cut down the grove that was by it. And Joash said unto all who stood against him, Will ye plead for Baal? Will ye save him? He that will plead for him, let him be put to death, whilst it is yet morning. If he be a god, let him plead for himself, because one hath cast down his altar. Therefore on that day he called him Jerubbaal, saying, Let Baal plead against him, because he hath thrown down his altar. Then all the Midianites and the Amalekites and the children of the east were gathered together, and went over and pitched in the valley of Jezreel. But the Spirit of the Lord came upon Gideon, and he blew a trumpet, and Abiezer was gathered after him. And he sent messengers throughout all Manasseh, who also was gathered after him. And he sent messengers unto Asher, and unto Zebulun, and unto Naphtali, and they came up to meet them. And Gideon said unto God, If thou wilt save Israel by mine hand, as thou hast said, behold, I will put a fleece of wool in the floor. And if the dew be on the fleece only, and it be dry upon all the earth beside it, then shall I know that thou wilt save Israel by mine hand, as thou hast said. And it was so, for he rose up early on the morrow, and thrust the fleece together, and wringed the dew out of the fleece, a bowl full of water. And Gideon said unto God, Let not thine anger be hot against me, and I will speak but this once. Let me prove, I pray thee, but this once with the fleece. Let it now be dry only upon the fleece, and upon all the ground let there be dew. And God did so that night, for it was dry upon the fleece only, and there was dew on all the ground. Chapter 7 Gideon's army is reduced to 300. They frighten the Midianite armies with trumpets and lights. The Midianites fight among themselves, flee, and are defeated by Israel. Then Jeroboam, who is Gideon, and all the people that were with him, rose up early, and pitched beside the well of Herod, so that the host of the Midianites were on the north side of them, by the hill of Morah, in the valley. And the Lord said unto Gideon, The people that are with thee are too many for me to give the Midianites into their hands, lest Israel vaunt themselves against me, saying, Mine own hand hath saved me. Now therefore go to Proclaim in the ears of the people, saying, Whosoever is fearful and afraid, let him return, and depart early from Mount Gilead. And there returned of the people twenty and two thousand, and there remained ten thousand. And the Lord said unto Gideon, The people are yet too many. Bring them down unto the water, and I will try them for thee there. And it shall be, that of whom I say unto thee, This shall go with thee, the same shall go with thee. And of whomsoever I say unto thee, This shall not go with thee, the same shall not go. So he brought down the people unto the water. And the Lord said unto Gideon, Everyone that lappeth of the water with his tongue, as a dog lappeth, him shalt thou set by himself. Likewise everyone that boweth down upon his knees to drink. And the number of them that lapped, putting their hand to their mouth, were three hundred men. But all the rest of the people bowed down upon their knees to drink water. 
And the Lord said unto Gideon, By the three hundred men that left will I speak, and deliver the Midianites into thine hand, and let all the other people go every man unto his place. So the people took victuals in their hand, and their trumpets. And he sent all the rest of Israel, every man, unto his tent, and retained those three hundred men. And the host of Midian was beneath him in the valley. And it came to pass the same night that the Lord said unto him, Arise, get thee down unto the host, for I have delivered it into thine hand. But if thou fear to go down, go thou with Fura thy servant, down to the host. And thou shalt hear what they say, and afterward shall thine hands be strengthened to go down unto the host. Then went he down with Fura his servant, unto the outside of the armed men that were in the host. And the Midianites and the Amalekites and all the children of the east lay along in the valley like grasshoppers for multitude. And their camels were without number, as the sand by the seaside for multitude. And when Gideon was come, behold, there was a man that told a dream unto his fellow, and said, Behold, I dreamed a dream, and lo, a cake of barley bread tumbled into the host of Midian, and came unto a tent, and smote it that it fell, and overturned it, that the tent lay along. And his fellow answered and said, This is nothing else save the sword of Gideon the son of Joash, a man of Israel. For into his hand hath God delivered Midian and all the host. And it was so, when Gideon heard the telling of the dream, and the interpretation thereof, that he worshipped and returned into the host of Israel, and said, Arise, for the Lord hath delivered into your hand the host of Midian. And he divided the three hundred men into three companies, and he put a trumpet in every man's hand, with empty pitchers and lamps within the pitchers. And he said unto them, Look on me, and do likewise. And behold, when I come to the outside of the camp, it shall be that as I do, so shall ye do. When I blow with the trumpet, I and all that are with me, then blow ye the trumpets also on every side of all the camp, and say, The sword of the Lord and of Gideon. So Gideon and the hundred men that were with him came unto the outside of the camp in the beginning of the middle watch. And they had but newly set the watch, and they blew the trumpets and break the pitchers that were in their hands. And the three companies blew the trumpets and break the pitchers, and held the lamps in their left hands, and the trumpets in their right hands to blow withal. And they cried, The sword of the Lord and of Gideon. And they stood every man in his place round about the camp, and all the host ran and cried and fled. And the three hundred blew the trumpets, and the Lord set every man's sword against his fellow, even throughout all the host. And the host fled to Bathsheba and Zerarath, and to the border of Abel Mechola, unto Tabith. And the men of Israel gathered themselves together out of Naphtali, and out of Asher, and out of all Manasseh, and pursued after the Midianites. And Gideon sent messengers throughout all Mount Ephraim, saying, Come down against the Midianites, and take before them the waters unto Bethbara and Jordan. Then all the men of Ephraim gathered themselves together, and took the waters unto Bethbara and Jordan. And they took two princes of the Midianites, Oreb and Zeeb. And they slew Oreb of Wach Oreb, and Zeb they slew at the wine press of Zeb, and pursued Midian, and brought the heads of Oreb and Zeb to Gideon on the other side, Jordan. Chapter 8 Gideon pursues and destroys the Midianites. He frees the children of Israel, but refuses their invitation to reign as king over them. Gideon dies, and Israel returns to idolatry. And the men of Ephraim said unto him, Why hast thou served us thus, that thou calledst us not, when thou wentest to fight with the Midianites? And they did chide with him sharply. And he said unto them, What have I done now in comparison of you? Is not the gleaning of the grapes of Ephraim better than the vintage of Abiezer? God hath delivered into your hands the princes of Midian, Oreb and Zeb. And what was I able to Okay, everybody. That's it for today, I think. I'm going to go back and close my game, game the right way. Let's see if I did that. Okay, I'm just really tired and I don't, I just can't continue right now with this. I got some other stuff I got to do. Uh, so I'm going to close the game.
close the game. I marked my spreadsheet off. Let's acknowledge the people. Uh, I'll say hi in the chat. Hi. Chat says hi. And keyboard. Go back. Close that. And the people in the chat. Users in chat. We have another T T V viewer, Industrial Parasite. Let's do this underscore underscore host raffle and violets underscore TV. Thanks so much for being here. We'll see you next time. Bye.